The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media, Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Let's get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob and I am your host with the most. Hello. As you can see, I'm using brand new screencast software where you can see my face. It's a little bit uncomfortable. I, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, and I wasn't sure if I should do my hair or not, but uh, I didn't. So you get what you get. Uh, today's podcast is all about theming in Drupal 6. Uh, I had some people ask me, hey, how do I create a Drupal 6 or just a Drupal theme for that matter from scratch? Well, I'm going to show you some basics today. This was all inspired by a geeksandgod.com episode. Uh, as you can see right now, it is my latest episode that is online. It is episode 90 in case you're looking at this later. Geeksandgod.com slash episode 90. We did a Drupal 6 overview and I talked a bit about theming. And I'm going to show you firsthand what it takes to create a Drupal theme from scratch. Now you may be asking yourself, why from scratch? Hopefully you're asking yourself that. Um, the reason is because uh, a lot of times people take other people's themes and then change them and, and make them do what they want them to do. Uh, that's not always cool because uh, a couple of reasons. First, you don't really know what's in that theme. Uh, you don't know where that theme's been. You're not really sure. Uh, the, the idea is that uh, you don't know what all the things in that theme does, and that's not good. You want to be able to know everything your theme's doing, understand everything your theme's doing, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, number two, it might have a bunch of functionality or code or styles or other stuff that you're never going to use, you're never going to touch. Uh, that makes for a big fat theme that you don't want. Uh, you want a nice slim theme that only has the stuff you're using. Uh, so we're going to create it from scratch. Uh, a great reference point uh, for today's podcast is drupal.org slash node slash 132442. Uh, that is a very good link uh, over on Drupal.org that talks about converting Drupal 5 themes to Drupal 6. Uh, shows a whole bunch of stuff about uh, what's new, kind of different stuff you can see, uh, yada, yada, yada. Great link. Uh, an excellent part of this link uh, is writing info files, which are brand new in 6 uh, for your themes. And that's the very first thing we're going to do, actually, to create a theme. Well, the second thing we're going to do. Uh, so uh, jump over there. Uh, check out this link. Uh, it has way more than I'm going to talk about today, way more info, good stuff. So what is the first thing we're going to do? The very first thing we're going to do is create a new folder for our theme to reside in. Wait a minute. Let's move back, rewind a little bit. Hey, you say, Mr. Mustard Seed, why didn't you put the theme in the folder called themes? Because that's a big no-no, my dear podcast viewer. Uh, because uh, these are just for Drupal core themes. Do not put your themes in there. It's just bad form. Uh, instead, put them in sites, all. Uh, when you have a new, brand new Drupal install, this will not exist, this themes directory here. Go ahead and create that folder. Uh, and then we're going to put our new theme and all of its stuff right there. Uh, so all I'm going to do to start with is create a new folder called my theme. Uh, just a reminder also, I'm on my local install, so this would be on your web server uh, if, uh, you know, if you weren't using MAMP or WAMP or something on a local machine. Uh, so anyway, so you're going to create a new folder called My Theme. That's where all your theme stuff's going to go. As I mentioned before, info files are brand new to Drupal 6. The very first thing we're going to do is create an info file for our theme. What's an info file? It is a file that tells Drupal a bunch of stuff about our theme. Uh, theme, things like its name, what it is, what Drupal version it's compatible with, etc. And let's create one. Uh, here's the thing though, I cheat uh, because I build lots and lots of these sites. So I have template uh, files that I start with. Uh, so I don't have to rewrite everything every time. And that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to grab a bunch of stuff out of my template file. It's a very basic Drupal theme file, or I'm sorry, uh, info file. And let's go over what this is. Uh, first thing, name equals theme name. Let's put in... Uh, my theme. That's our theme name. Description. This will show up uh, on the theme page in Drupal. 
uh, on the description uh, page. Uh, my theme rocks your face off. That's my description. Uh, next, we have core equals six dot X. That means our theme is compatible with Drupal six. Uh, engine, this is the theme engine we're running on. That's PHP template. Uh, if you don't use PHP template or you want to know something else, go to a different podcast because everything I build is on PHP template. Almost everyone builds on PHP template. That's the deal. Uh, this stuff is a little extra. Uh, we can now create regions, our own custom regions uh, in our Drupal info file, our theme info file. That's a good thing. Uh, these are all just the regions that come with Drupal by default. Uh, let's go over what they look like. So we put in regions left equals left sidebar. Uh, what this means is in our file, when we want to show the left region, we've just defined it as dollar sign left. That's our variable. This is going to be our variable here. If we wanted it to be something else like left sidebar to print it, we would do that. So you're going to see all this in a minute in your page.tpl.php file. Uh, so if uh, these are just the, again, these are the ones that come with Drupal. If you don't define any of these, if you just did this, that's just fine. These would be the, the uh, regions that would exist uh, by default. So what if we wanted to add a new one? We could just go regions, uh, new suite region. And then we would just have Drupal display it as suite region. And then uh, somewhere in my page.tpl.php, I could do something like that. Hopefully that all makes sense. So that is our theme file, very basic. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save that into our theme directory. I'm just gonna do a save as, find my theme directory I created. And I'm gonna drop it in there and we're gonna call it the name of your theme dot info. My theme dot info. Bam, we have an info file, hooray. Uh, next thing we need is a page.tpl.php file. Now these aren't actually required anymore uh, in Drupal 6, uh, but you're going to create one. Uh, and you should create one because it gives you lots more control over uh, how your, your page is laid out. Uh, I can't go into all that. Too much info for this, uh, this podcast. But um, once again, uh, I cheat and I have a page.tpl uh, that I use as a template. And let's go over what this looks like. You're looking at this right now going, hey, sir, this looks like just HTML uh, with some funky stuff that I don't quite recognize. And you are correct. A page.tpl.php is nothing but HTML used to lay out your website structure. And all we're doing is using Drupal variables to print the different pieces of Drupal stuff within our HTML. Uh, so let's look at this. we got a regular doc type. Uh, dollar sign language, language. Uh, this is Drupal just printing the language. Uh, so it's automatically going to print whatever language Drupal is operating in. Under title, we could put uh, my sweet, awesome website. Uh, that would be normal, uh, but we're not normal. We're Drupal. Uh, so we're going to do print head title. Uh, that's going to give us our uh, site name right in our title. Uh, we're printing our Drupal head styles. This inserts all our style sheets. Uh, we're doing this to fix IE because it sucks and it's totally unrelated to this podcast. Uh, then we're doing a bunch of CSS stuff. Uh, we're printing our site name uh, within an H1. Uh, we've got our nav. We're printing primary links. So you can see all we're doing is laying out our website using traditional CSS HTML structure uh, and just using Drupal variables to print the stuff we want. So we're here we're saying if there's a right sidebar, print a div called right sidebar, insert the right sidebar using the right variable that we define in our info file. Uh, and that's it. Uh, this is some really important stuff. This is our main content uh, region. Uh, you'll see it's just called body section. Uh, I'm inserting Drupal tabs, Drupal messages, and Drupal help. And then most importantly, I'm printing the content variable. Uh, this is all your main content stuff that will print in your page. Uh, if we look further down, we're just printing our footer. Um, inside a div called footer. Uh, and uh, towards the bottom, we're printing closure. And if we were normal, uh, don't ask about closure, just do it. Uh, it closes out stuff that Drupal needs to close out before it finishes the page. Uh, and then here we're printing scripts. If we were normal, we might be printing scripts up in our head somewhere. But, you know, sometimes we're normal, sometimes we're not. Um, okay, so that's the deal. So now we have our general layout of our page uh, using HTML, CSS, and Drupal variables. For a list of all these Drupal variables, uh, go to drupal.org uh, and just search uh, PH, uh, 
page.tpl.php variables, uh, and you'll get a whole list of what you can use uh, in this whole page. Uh, so let's file, save this file, save as to my theme folder again, and we're going to just call it page.tpl.php. Rock on. One more file that we have to create uh, is going to be our style sheet. Uh, we're using CSS to style this. Uh, Drupal automatically recognizes a file called style.css as your main style sheet if you stick it in your theme folder. So let's do that. This is just a blank document. We're going to save it as style.css. And now, in theory, we have a theme that we can activate. So let's go back to our website. Uh, go to administer themes. Scroll down. And here's our theme, which, by the way, rocks your face off. However, you're going to notice that that is not entirely true because uh, we have not styled our theme to rock anyone's face off yet because uh, we have no styles in our uh, style.css. Anyway, we're going to activate it, save configuration. Biggity bam, our theme is active even though there's absolutely no styling. Let's take two seconds and style something. Let's just set the body, uh, background, if I can spell color as black. And let's set the text as white. Exciting stuff. We're going to save that. I will shift refresh. And you will now see that our style sheet is taking effect. And so now we can do things uh, with our CSS, including laying out our, our different regions, our different divs, doing all that jazz. Uh, and that is the very basic stuff to creating a Drupal 6 theme. It is very simple. Uh, everyone should create them from scratch. Because uh, it doesn't really take much time or energy. And I'm lazy, so that's good. Um, don't forget, geeksandgod.com, episode 90 for a Drupal 6 overview. This is about an hour podcast. Probably more, maybe more entertaining than this. And you can listen to it in your car. It's tough to watch this in your car while you're driving. Or it's unsafe, at least. Um, that's it. Come back next week for another one. Not sure what I'm going to do. If you have any suggestions, uh, if you have questions, if uh, you'd like to tell me this podcast is terrible, do that in the comments. Um, at geek, uh, I'm sorry, at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast. That would be wonderful. I will see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>